not have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe America is already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? 52 American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names linked to the hostage situation, Arash Karavar and Kasim Javadi. Just give the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. You sure we can trust the police, Adler? This guy's done more for less. He'll look the other way. Hello. Glad you could join us, Hans. You remember me. We cleared a move on the target. Kasim is in his apartment, but he's well protected. Can keep my men out of the area for 15 minutes. I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you, Hans. Come on. Woods is itching for a dust stop. We don't want to let him down. We're on the clock, Woods. Let's not keep the scene waiting. Hey, Mason. Party favors are in the trunk. Dipshit probably thinks he's safe. That piece of trash is a lot of things. But safe ain't one of them. Do we really need to take this son of a bitch alive, Adler? Kasim has info we need. Everyone else can take a powder. Apartment's just up ahead. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go. Watch it, Woods. 
We need him alive. I'm just softening him up. I need cover. And a good gun. Move. Seam can't escape. Can work so far. Oh. You're up, Mason. Oh. 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 Mason, hey, Cassine wait, wants wait, to wait. tell you something. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I, I just handled the money. I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. Yeah. Americans have rules. You have rules. You took hostages. The rules changed. Wait, wait, wait. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trap Zone Airfield tomorrow night. One down, one to go. I get the next one. Hudson, Arash is in trap zone, Turkey. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Arash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a rush before things go hot. Mason, check it out. Sign of a rush. That's not him. Nope. Incoming truck. Left side. Get eyes on it, Mason. A rush might be in the truck.
Keep in the rush. Should have freed the hostages when you had the chance! Uh, hostages? It was never about the hostages. Uh, uh, his plan is already underway. Uh, you won't be able to stop him this time. Stop who? Perseus. Bullshit. Perseus is dead. Dead? <laughs> All this time and you didn't even know. <laughs> Perseus will watch the whisper. Hudson will want to hear about this. Let's sweep the tarmac for survivors and get to Langley. Who the fuck is Perseus? Nineteen forty-three. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. Nineteen sixty-eight. Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers, orchestrated by Perseus, attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus, the CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man I suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. And after 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular, most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task, protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, Rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, no, don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on.
Bell, welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Mark. Adler. Bell. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD have tapped their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. Now we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here, to Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. You got it. Bell, this is where you come in. We needed the best of the CIA and SOG. That's exactly why I requested you again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Danae. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. That's it. Seems. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. And word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow, Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack, in a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's great time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, a little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher. How's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Hey, Sims, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I want it all up here. Bell, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. 
Headsets on. All birds check in when ready. Badger Niner 1, good to go. Badger Niner 2, clear to go. Badger Niner 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull pitch. All birds are in the air. You all sitting comfortably? Oh man, Adler? Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. But the news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Talk to! Let him up!
looked like looking for a needle in a haystack. You hear that? It's on you, Bell. Open the door. Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset. Roger that, Ripcord. You Adler? Mac V Sock? 
Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thanks, Bell. He's the one who just sang us a fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a failsafe. That's all you need to know. We that desperate already. Not yet. Somehow, Perseus knew. Sims! Bell, you okay? You're okay! Bell, let loose of that goddamn turret before we're overrun! Think we can call this a success, Sims? <laughs> At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Tanang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. MI6 has been tracking Volkov for several years. 
It is my strong preference that we attempt to capture rather than... MI6 has spent the last year tracking a group of... So listen up. An ex-CIA operative named Robert Aldrich has gone rogue. Langley believes this asshole is working with Perseus to assemble a spy ring inside U.S. borders. We recently acquired an encrypted floppy disk from one of his agents that we believe contains everything we need to know about his network, if we can get to it. We know where Aldrich is and can move on him any time. But if we don't get into this disk first, Volkov heads the Russian mob that moved into East Berlin once the wall went up in 61. This guy has connections to cartels throughout Europe and the Americas. Neutralizing him will not only hurt Perseus, but the global syndicate. He's a big fish. And here's our little fish, Franz Krauss. According to MI6, he's one of Volkov's information couriers. He has a drop with Volkov scheduled for tomorrow night. We'll infiltrate East Berlin via the U-Bahn. The ghost station on the other side of the wall has the access point we need. From there, we'll watch Krauss as he enters the city. Once Falkov shows his face, it's killer capture. Slows down. You and I'll jump off. Park, Lazar. Wait till the next station. Bell and I'll track down Kraus. All right. Train slowing down. Let's go to work. Bell, let's go. German guards still patrol these abandoned stations. Patrol ahead. We can use a train to slip past. Shit. 
Was ist hier los? Ich arbeite für die Bahn. Ich suche über meinen Ausweis. Das ist Sperrgebiet. Sie sind verhaftet. Rund auf dem Boden. Halt, halt, halt. Beruhigen Sie sich. Wir finden dadurch sicher eine Lösung. Wir Stop. öffnen... Now. Was zum... Nice work. Let's clean this up. Crowd should be coming through the checkpoint soon. Let's get to the rooftop. Bart, Lazar, we're almost in position. Copy that. Come on, this way. Careful of the spotlight. down, I'll give them that. Keep an eye on that checkpoint. Krauss will be coming through any time. Look for Krauss with your camera. Damn. Security's even tighter than usual. If they detained Krauss, he could miss his meeting with Volkov. Near the checkpoint. Man with the briefcase. Is that him? That's not Krauss. Not him. Not our guy. Cross doesn't look like that. Good job. That's our man. That's Cross. On me. Krauss just crossed the wall. What's your status? Lazar and I are at the exfil point, awaiting your arrival. Roger that. <clears throat> Our intel says Krauss and Volkov will meet at the bar across the street. Meet Hudson's contact inside. She'll have a blue umbrella. I'll stay out here and watch the street. Wie schön, dass Sie es geschafft haben. Krause setzt die Table over my right shoulder. didn't reveal much. He said you're after Volkov? Who knows? The man's like a ghost. I would guess no more than a day. One of my informants was picked up in a random sweep just two blocks from here. The Stasi must assume they are more nearby. I would ask a favor of you. He will not hold up under torture for long. We need him rescued. Or silenced. They're holding him here. Thank you. Kraus is ex Stasi, so don't let his wholesome appearance fool you. The man is a killer. 
Heads up, Bella. Dick Volkov is walking in. Bell, we've got trouble. There's two Stasi entering the bar. Get out of there now! Shit. Go through the bathroom. I'll hold them off. Team, new plan. Meet outside Krauss's apartment. He's still our ticket to Volkov. Öffnen Sie die Tür! Sofort! Ich bleibe heute Nacht bei meinem Freund. Wir haben ein paar zu viel in der Kneipe. Die beiden sind am Abschluss. Schon gut, schon gut. Aber Sie können meine Wohnung von hier aus sehen. Ich frage nicht noch einmal. Bark, give me a seal rep. I'm in a storefront facing Krasnick's apartment. He just got home. You? The Stasi are combing the area. I need to lay low. I'll catch up with you when the heat dies down. Bell, get to Park and Lazar ASAP. Oh. think I am. You, I've seen your no picture. They're looking for you. I've been monitoring a, a nearby KGB field house. I, I don't know how they found me. I, I've done everything by the book. Thank you for saving my life. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Oh, 
That's your little profile, Bell. God help us all. Follow me. Stay quiet. I don't want the locals writing us out. Store right across the street from Krause's place. He's gonna pick her up some networks from the brown bar, but closed already. Park is just up ahead. I pulled up near Krauss's building a few minutes ago, but I didn't have a good angle to... Just a moment. Krauss is on the telephone. Bell, get eyes on Krauss. What do you think, Lazar? Sounds like Volkov wants Krauss's briefcase. We should place a tracker in it. That case will lead us straight to Volkov. One of us can sneak into Krauss's apartment. Avoiding Krauss and his wife might be the greater challenge. Bell volunteers. While he's doing that, I'll check around the exterior for any unwanted guests. Bark, you can keep an eye on us from here. I'll try to give you my best angles. Lovely. Edda, suchst du mir meinen Schirm? Ich gehe in ein paar Minuten. Mama, ich finde meine Decke nicht. Papa, kommst Shit. du? We missed the kid. Krauss is leaving his office. Hide. Wo sind die Zähne? Ich 
Komm gleich rauf. Don't let Kraus see you. explain how he got to the materials. But I brought him to you. That makes this much less unpleasant for me. Perseus has been looking for this one. Then you let Perseus know I captured him. We have greater killer as well. Her own colleague read it out. You spineless piece of shit. I I'm sorry, Greta. The KGP's pockets are deeper. Uh, fine. Perseus has a large bounty on your head. She gets it easy. Do not tempt me to bring out my toys. I will ask again. Who do you work for? What kind of fool are you? You think you will die with dignity here? You are damaged goods. We agree to the hunt. That's not a coin!
Raptor Volkov. No. Let's go. With me, Jack. You did the right thing. One of Perseus's men off the board. Is it? I wanted him alive. MI6 could have gotten so much more out of him. Can't win them all. Now let's get the hell out of East Berlin. The information from Volkov confirms our worst fears. Perseus smuggled a nuclear device through East Berlin. We can't be certain of it yet. He has it. I'm sure of it. We found encrypted geo-coordinates with Volkov's nuclear intel. An unpopulated region within the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. An aerial recon run revealed this. I want to know everything that's going on inside this building. We'll need the others for this one. Mason and Woods will join us from Kiev. Bell, you'll infill here with Woods. Mason and I will be standing by for an extract. Bark will handle comms. We have no idea how large or prepared their forces will be, so use discretion if you have to engage. It's time we took a peek behind the Iron Curtain. Keep Mason and Adler on standby. Let's go. Bell, we need to move. The base is just over the next ridge. Get in, learn what you can, and get out. Shit, Park. I plan to stay a while. See the gulag. Do that after we learn what Perseus has planned. Look at that monster. Reds could be hiding anything inside. Snap a picture. Ops want to see this. Right. Time to get our hands dirty. I'm seeing guards. I am. Choose your target. Photo ops over. Two more out of the truck. Textbook. Take point and head down the slope. I'll hang back and cover. Snap pictures of anything that looks important. Maps. Blueprints. Whatever you can find. Got you covered. Shit. Patrol's approaching my position. They'll find a way in. I'll follow around.
return to quiet for now. But I've still no word from Woods. Stay the course and get inside. here. Guards down below. I'll move to the lower deck and engage on your mark. All right, I'm set. and reds on the other side of this door. Cover me. Not a fucking word, Bell. The hell is this place? Spetsnaz training course. Made to look like fucking any town USA. Oh, shit, we're starting. Fuck, let's move! If they want a live fire drill, let's hook these. Fuckers up. Yeah, with the guys. With the guys. Understood. Just to chin. Check it! 
Control tower.
button before more of them show up. Got caught up in some kind of live fire drill. Place is crawling with reds. We're still looking for intel. Bloody hell. I'm putting Mason and Adler on standby for extract. She sounds mad. Does she sound mad? Looks like their command center. Come on. Jackpot. Computer central. Let's see what the Reds are really up to. Bell, hop on that terminal. Start poking around. Welcome to the Soviet People's Warfare Analysis Archive. Tactical urban combat statistics. Restricted access. That's kid stuff. Keep looking. KGB daily reports. Restricted access. Boring. What else is there? Operation Greenlight. Restricted access. What the fuck is Operation Greenlight? Bell, can you hack into that? Of course there's a password. Look around. These Reds ain't that smart. Maybe there's something on the desk. What about Stalin's greatest hits? Nice. I'm grabbing a copy. This doesn't make any sense. Percy's infiltrated a CIA nuke program, codenamed Operation Greenlight, run by Hudson. Stolen nuke is American, and Hudson fucking knew. Shit! Time to go. Authorized death. I can't fucking believe it. Park, come in. Park. Hudson lied to us. He fucking lied to us. What? What are you talking about? We're talking about green light. That's what Perseus is after, and Hudson has his fingerprints all over it. What's your breaking up? Just get the hell out of there! Oh, shit! That APC is Just a
just went from bad to worse. Just make sure Adler and Mason are ready at the expo. Watch it! We've got to reach that exit. Bastards are blocking the exit. We're gonna have to punch the rule.
Yes, sir, I'm on it. You knew the nuke was from green light, didn't tell us! What else are you hiding? Maybe I can knock the truth out of you. You might want to rethink that, Woods. Everybody stand down. This little pissing match isn't gonna help us catch Perseus. Why didn't you tell us it was an American nuke? He needed us to clean up his mess. The bastard's been lying to us all along. It's not a lie. It's an omission of fact. That's what you do best, isn't it, Hudson? Manipulate people. Tell them your own version of the truth. There is no truth. Only who you choose to believe. Adler knows all about that. Don't you, Russ? Operation Greenlight. What is it? Tell us everything. Back in 58, the arms race was in full swing. Eisenhower was convinced that the Reds moved on Europe. We couldn't respond quick enough. So he authorized Operation Greenlight, a top secret program that placed nuclear bombs in every major European city. The ultimate countermeasure to a Soviet invasion. 74, the bombs were upgraded to high-yield neutron bombs, capable of terminating personnel without damaging infrastructure. Thousands dying in a flash. You're talking about fucking infrastructure. How's that for civilized? We kill the people, but preserve the buildings. We're trying to preserve our way of life. How long have you known about the missing nuke? One of the green light nukes went offline eight weeks ago. We suspected it was Perseus, but couldn't confirm it. So we saw the photos you brought back from East Berlin. So, there's an American-made nuke in the wild. And once Perseus detonates it, the United States becomes global enemy number one. We wouldn't have this problem if you'd done your job. Killed Perseus in Vietnam. Careful, Hudson. Next time, I might not stop Woods. Perseus is planning for that nuke. 
park? Anything else in that printout Bell and Woods pulled from the base? There's mention of an excavation taking place in the Ural Mountains, Yamantau. Our insider within the KGB confirmed an active operation. Yamantau? I thought Hudson and Weaver buried that place years ago. We did. Perseus wants to salvage the old mainframe. Dragovich and Steiner must have left some good shit behind. Steiner. Send me in Woods. You're too close to this, Mason. We can afford zero fuck-ups. Bullshit. You know there's no one better for the job. It's my call. I want Mason and Woods on this. Find that mainframe before Perseus does. I'll contact our KGB insider, Belikov. He'll offer logistical support. Hell, Belikov may want to fly the chopper himself. Whatever Perseus wants at Yamantau, I want it more. The first building is just over that ridge. Thanks, Dimitri. We'll radio we found the mainframe. Woods, you know what the KGB does to double agents. Yep. Da. If they win this season, it's almost worth facing the fighting squad. Eh. Hey, I've only one hour of fuel. So after that, you find yourself a new ride. Come on, let's get moving, Mason. That's our inside man. Don't let the smell of cheap vodka and caviar fool you. Dimitri's the real deal. He knows where all the bodies are buried. Hell, he buried half of them. Heads up. Scout's on the ridgeline. We should drop him now before we get any closer. Good kill. Not bad. Let's keep moving. Take one, I'll get the other. Good kill. Hopefully nobody heard. Shit, this looks dicey. There, it's good enough the reds. You go first. Loud, huh? <laughs> I hope this holds. See, piece of cake. That's the old SATCOM building. Looks like it's hanging by a thread. Snipers, don't let them spot you. Stay low, keep out of sight.
old SATCOM building. Still standing after all these years. But barely. They got sniped. Stay low. Keep out of sight. Sniper down. Nice shot. Site 7. Soviet engineering at its worst. We better move. for beauty. Whatever. Mason, what's your status? Lost my damn gun. You're going first next time. I see a tunnel down here. You'll have to find another way inside. Copy that. Woods. Great. Crossbow bolt. Это место было заброшено после схода лавины. 
Я слышал, что при раскопках были найдены тела с пулеметами. Ты что? Хочешь сказать, что, что наше начальство скрыло вражит? Я посмотрю. Yeah, I read you. You gotta be close. You made. I'm surprised the entire Soviet Union ain't up our ass. You've been busy. That's what they pay me for. In here, Chief. You see any dick sites? If I'm reading this map right, swing a few degrees to your left, more north. You ask me? They're here for more than just the mainframe. Steiner was working on all sorts of crazy shit. That Nova 6 business was just the tip of the iceberg. Looks like they're packing up and getting ready to move out. There, what's that? We found Bingo. The, the crane matches the dick site on this map. There's a big crane on the west side of the base. Have your winch ready. That's gotta be it. Excuse me? My, my winch? Sorry, you're breaking up. <laughs> they got a crane, we got a chopper.
I'm moving. I'm going to we gotta get to that mainframe. Head to cover. Thanks, Mason. 
This weight is most uncooperative. Come on! Pick up the base, Belikov! Hang on! Hudson. We finished analyzing that mainframe that Mason Woods brought from Yamato. And? Perseus was looking for the names of sleeper agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. Maybe he's operating without authorization. I'll let Adler know, but we're gonna do this the right way. We're not gonna do it at all. Just got word. Belikov is back in Moscow. You guys know the plan. Bell, you with me. Lazar, be ready for exfil. Are you taking him into the KGB with you? Are you crazy? Wait for Mason or Woods to return. I don't need Mason or Woods. I need Bell. He's got the skill we need. Are you enjoying this? You're risking the entire operation unnecessarily. It's not unnecessary. It's calculated. Just understand that if you botch this, we can't get those names. It's over. I know you can do this. Hudson doesn't trust anyone he can't control.
The Lubyanka Building, KGB headquarters in Moscow. The sleeper agent records are stored in the archives 100 feet below ground in a nuclear defense command bunker. Your only way in or out is through this high security elevator. We'll need proper credentials. That's where our asset, Belikov, comes into play. Belikov has been our source inside the KGB for nearly a decade. He'll get us in. He came through for us in Yamantown. He'll do it again. This shit is crazy, even by his standards. You sure he's on board? An immediate nuclear threat warrants every risk at this point. I'm sure he wouldn't disagree. Sims, get Belikov on the line. Алло, Беликов на трубке. Извините, я думал, что это писал с Сингапура. We're almost to the tunnels. Do you get access to the bunker? That's what I like to hear. Getting the files in that bunker. Do whatever it takes. And one more thing. One of our East Berlin informants recently switched sides and fled for Moscow. We have reason to believe he's in the Lubyanka building today. He knows too much about our Berlin network. I'm thinking an early retirement. Understood. We'll meet you at the basement entrance once you have the bunker key. Anna Belikov, you've been summoned to the conference room upstairs. Secretary Gorbachev is here from the Central Committee. I'm sorry, you just have to come back tomorrow. I see you. Did the general come through here? And this is as far as Comrade Belikov, have a seat. General Secretary Brezhnev has taken an interest in the new security development. <coughs> There's a mole within the KGB. The committee wants someone from the first chief directorate to oversee Colonel Kravchenko's investigation. If you've not met him already, this is Imran Zakayev. Thank you, Secretary Gorbachev. And thank you all for welcoming me with open arms. I can think of no greater tragedy than a home violated from the inside. The trust and love within a family is sacred. Apparently. Not everyone shares your beautiful sentiments. Comrade Belikov, as head of security, I understand you've practically exhausted yourself trying to unearth this mool. How has that gone? I am not a patient man, Bilikov, or a compassionate one. Until the mole is found, I want security increased around the bunker. Zakayev, do you have any recommendations? We should restrict bunker access. We also want to cultivate closer relationships with all of you. I want to know your hopes, your fears, your ambitions. Be thorough, but we don't want any significant disruptions. And you, Belikov? Who do you think should retain bunker access during the investigation? It pains me to say it, but in a troubled time like this, even generals need restrictions. Secretary Gorbachev, only General Charkov should retain his bunker key for now. Very well. See to it. Worry yourself no longer, sir. I've already ordered the bunker keys collected from the men. Comrade Belikov, we are in grave danger from the capitalists. Our collective, our very way of life is at risk. The traitor will be caught. <coughs> and he will pay a high price for his betrayal. Belikov, you are dismissed. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm being watched. I need a bunker key. Now, first, I'll have to kill the cameras. This area is restricted. If I'm spotted well, can I here, help I'll you, sir? blow my cover. I have to get a bunker key for Adler. He'll need it to access the vault. <sighs> Unfortunately, Cherkov now has the only one. Sorry, Tom. You mean the one where he runs away with the butler? You mean me? <laughs> Whoever you are, you won't get shit out of me. Help. You need my help. Save your breath. Ivanov won't cooperate. Yet. I should find leverage in the records room. Are you here about my assignment? Adler will be pleased. Now I need to focus on the bunker key.
It's not easy being a double agent, huh? How can I help you, sir? I'm sorry, Comrade Velikov, but Zakaev has increased security measures. You'll need authorization from the war room like anyone else. I'm sorry, I can't. Zakaev would have my head on a pike. How important is pursuing this lead to you? Ah. A Cuban cigar would really distract me. I'm sure you could find a personal stash in one of the offices. Good day, sir. The guard won't let me in. Uh, I need to get what he asked for. Or I can take him out. How can I help you, sir? Wonderful. I'll let you in. But this never happened. Good day, sir. In data entry, I could program this blank keycard into a bunker key, yes.
If I'm seeing this would be treason. Okay, now I need to head to the basement and let Adler's team in. How can I help you, sir? Ladin. Ah, Adler's team will need uniforms to get past security. Luring two soldiers into the tunnel should do the trick. Yelikov here. Send a security detail to meet me in the furnace room. Immediately. Wasn't sure you'd come through. I don't have much choice, do I? This keycard gives you elevated access to the bunker. What about uniforms? Shh, sounds like they're here now. Okay, I will lead them through and distract them. You two do the rest. Now, take cover. Keep it clean. Uniforms are no good to us, bloody. Tap, tap, tap. I found the door to the door. Нету никакого оправдания этой некомпетентности. У нас есть очень строгие протоколы, чтобы это предотвратить. Понятно? Окей, okay, I have to leave, but you should have everything you need. Now, if stopped, you are reporting to Commander Sobel. Get changed. Weapons and key card are in the back. Come on, 
This way. Once we're in the bunker, we're on our own. Ты слышал о генеральном секретаре Брежнева? Нет. Что случилось? Ему сделали операцию. Сердце? А то некуда повесить еще одну золотую звезду. No metal detectors for us. We're going around. И куда это вы направляетесь? Досмотр обязателен для всех без исключения. Вы должны пройти досмотр. Товарищ, доставьте вашу сумку сюда для досмотра. Пойдем я нам кое принести. Дайте нам пройти. Принимайте это близко к сердцу, товарищ. У меня приказ досматривать всех, без исключения. Товарищ, ты нужен за Кайву. Я разберусь. Спасибо, товарищ. Внимание, повреждение уровня готов. После Вити, По-моему, я здесь, нет? Пойдем. Take us down. Когда вы прибыли? Ах да, разумеется. Кто ваш командир? Я не расслышал. Вы что, сударка меня дерзит? Кто вы такие? Elevator conversation always gets awkward. Gear up. They won't be happy to see us down here. Wait for my word. Прежде чем Грабченко успел This way to the vault.
Aurora Expo. Plant the gas in the bed. Hurry up and set the gas. Good. Let's get to the vault. Almost to the vault. There's the vault. Open the door. I've got your back. the list bell. Copy it to a disc. Running out of time, pal. We're cutting through. Through the door. Get ready. Here they come.
B, Bill. Activate the gas. Drop your weapon and surrender or he dies. This is your final order. When we move, get a mask on Belikov. I'll cover you. <laughs> situation up top. They are on full alert, melting the building down. We'll have to fight our way out. We're gonna need some heavier gear. I know just the place, my friend. There are heavy weapons in the elevator. We need to arm ourselves before reinforcement. Keep moving, the gear is this way. LMGs and explosives. Gear up, Bell. Let's get up top. Lazar, meet us in the southwest courtyard in five minutes. Belikov is hit to the right. Plenty of room in the backseat. Once we get off the elevator, just keep moving towards the courtyard. Get the charge ready, Bell. Go, Bell. Time. Been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus.
This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the States. It's time to take down Perseus, once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Woods, don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my surest shit guaranteed. May I have a word? What's up? I need a few minutes of your time to discuss something. Do available? In private. You ready? Let's talk. You look ready. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. Hastings left Salt Lake City. He tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love, we're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Park, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Go, go, go! I'm moving! Do the honors, Bill.
up, move up! I'm moving! In motion! They're popping smoke! Moving up! Right. Copy. What did these poor bastards do? They finished their job. They love a reward. They've got close circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Mark. Spread out. Find that nuke. It's quiet all of a sudden. Stay sharp. Contact! Fuck! Is everyone all right? Bell, sweep for mines.
Lovely. This will come in handy. Get up. Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Keep looking. Thanks, Mark. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor. Room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs. Let's move. Meet you there, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. We're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. Seven B. Adler, we're heading inside. Saw man the door. Got it, Mark. Bell canvas the room. Hastings, start talking. <laughs> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. He escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go. No? Contact! Chopper coming in low. It's gotta be Perseus. All teams head to the roof. Move! Move! And we get a shit ton of reinforcements here on this compound. Damn it, Torres. Clear! Out of the way! <laughs> Adler, I got eyes on an HBT. South rooftop. Could be Perseus. He's climbing into a chopper. Take him out! Out the window! Out the window! Bell, let's go! Fuck 
me. The chopper got away. Fuck the chopper. We got bigger problems. Lock down. Don't wait for us. This is ground team. Bring you that visual. Got you there, ground team. We have Find visual. Cover. Fasten your harness, cross your arms, and remember to keep your back to the wind. Inbound in two minutes. Heads up, Mark. You got snipers on the roof. Copy that. Bell, take out those snipers. Ah, oh, shit, ducks. They're everywhere. Controlled burst, Lazar. We're low on ammo. I think I'm ready for that drink now. Don't tease me, Park. We'll have none of that horse Why piece, you poor beer. It'll be a proper drunk. Get ready. Here they come. Where's that plane? One minute. Stay focused, Lisa. I'll tell you what. When we get out of this, I'm fine. Now that's something worth fighting. Ground team, this is Skyhook. The zone is hot as hell. Can we lend an assist? That'll be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help is on the way. The ground team is Skyhook. Roger that. Clearing the roof now. Good effect. Good effect. Get another chance. Call me that, Skyhook. I can see the plane. Mark, we need to hook into the line now. We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go! Take cover! Shit! My legs. Contact in T okay. minus ten. Nine. Reach. The harness. Eight. Seven. Six. Move your ass, Bell. Five. We're nearly out of time. Three. Two. One. No. No. Well. That was a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on. A little further. Sims, get the gurney. You look like shit. Or were you always that ugly? Hey, thanks for back there. Save my ass. Maybe you're one of us after all. No matter what happens, 
I never forget the people I owe. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping Perseus. No more half-assed. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Directly into the brain? Not sure I can watch this. Damn. Through the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Wish there was another way. You got this, Bell. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Maybe it was enough.
The remaining VC fled into the tree line. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow ready. That's when you discovered the missing soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Run six. Ready to go. Bell, 
we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Your report says the bunker was down the left path, not the right. This isn't right. Can Bell still have Uh, thanks for the assist. Good luck on your mission.
bell. You noticed a rope ladder leading to a bridge overhead. The bridge led toward the bunker, so you climbed the ladder. Bell, go back and climb the ladder. The bunker's that way. The bunker isn't there. Turn back. Now. Why is... Sims, this is scenario 17. A tunnel? You... Okay, you pulled out your sidearm and flashlight. Stop lying, Bell. Start again and tell me how you met Perseus. A lab? That doesn't sound right. Bell's in the lab? Notes suggest adrenaline. That's it, though. That's what you were looking for. Perseus was in there. Six again. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead. split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Stop fighting me, Bell, and go left. 
Turn around, Bell, and take the other path. Bell, you noticed a rope ladder leading to a bridge overhead. The bridge led toward the bunker, so you climbed the ladder. Bell, use the ladder to your left. Bell, the bunker isn't there. Turn back. Now. near a village. The bunker was somewhere on the other side. Bell, your report distinctly mentions the village as your destination. It doesn't mention a zipline. sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. They stirred up a hornet's nest. Roger that. Chopper inbound. ETA, two minutes.
Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. I don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it. Give Bell another injection. Do it, now! Those are some serious convulsions. Someone do something. Wait. It looks like Bell is coming down. Maybe we're okay again. Stop wasting my time with this hallway. Turn around, Bill. What the lab? What the hell is Bell doing in the lab? Forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume. survive another round. You're asking me? Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell, you've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next one. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Bell, go into the bunker now.
The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. Placing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years, fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now. We just want some assistance in return. Bell, you are one of them. We think Perseus cut you out of the picture in Turkey. Adler found you still alive. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duva alive. We'll dump the bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. There. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. You were put through the CIA's MK Ultra program. They gave you new memories, things constructed out of Adler's. It's fucked up. But they needed you to believe you were one of us. No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Are your hands clean, Bell? 
Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got come a job. On, we've got a job to do. You've got a job to do. Got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Green Universe, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? The safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. Straight ahead! RPG!
got any AA guns on the west wing? We're on it, Adler! Adler, this is Hudson. Have you cleared the AA guns? We need to launch these bombers. We got one AA cleared. You know that's not good enough. I can't risk an early strike. We only got one shot at this. You don't think I know that? Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. Contact! They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Woods, 
have you found them yet? Over here! Give me a hit! Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. With both he and Arash Kadavar dead, their terrorist network collapsed as surviving members fought for control. With no clear leadership in place, it appears the Soviets have decided to cut ties and clean up the mess. Approximately 72 hours ago, the militant's primary encampment was burned to the ground. Nothing but ashes. Apparently the few survivors that escaped have scattered and gone into hiding. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Park's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to her family and her caskets in transit to London. We spoke in the MI6. They're understandably displeased. We owe them one. Lazar Azale is recovering from his injuries in Tel Aviv. He'll return to the agency in good time. Pursuit of Perseus is personal for him now. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. 